let's count on to 100 and back in tens. Use a number square if you need to. How many blue cubes are there? And how many red cubes? How will we find the total? Which tower will we start with? That's right, it's easy to count on from the larger tower. So I want you to put 16 in your heads and then to count on three fingers. Make sure that when you touch your head, you're saying number 16. Are you ready? Let's do it together. Touching your head. 17, 18, 19. I've got some number sentences. 9 plus 4, 14 plus 3, 21 plus 4. When we add two numbers together, we can put the larger one first and count on the smaller number, just like we did before. That means we've got less counting on to do. So pause the video while you go and get some counting objects. It could be something as simple as beans or coins, whatever you can find, and then come back. Have you got them? Okay, we'll try the first one together. Nine plus four. Which number are we going to put in our head? Which is the larger number? So let's count on four. Nine in our heads, let's count on four. 10, 11, 12, 13. 9 plus 4 equals 13. I'm going to get you to try the next one by yourself. Fourteen plus three equals seventeen. I'll try twenty-one plus four. Put twenty-one in your head and then count on four. Twenty-one plus four or twenty-one count on four. Twenty-five. Well done. This activity, choose a number and count on one or two from a number. Complete the number sentences by counting on by one, two and three. There's some extra work at the bottom if you get through that quickly. There's a number square investigation, so it's counting on in threes. You can choose any number you want to start from and count on in threes from that number. And then you could choose a different number and count on in three. See what happens. For an extra challenge, choose six two-digit numbers and count on four, five, or six from those numbers. For example, 67 count on four equals, and then you can do it for five and six. Until the next time,